a regimented diet. You can't take our products and then pound three cheeseburgers and in two weeks be like, how come I'm not losing weight? Right. You said I don't have to change my diet. Well, within reason, you have to be smart about it. So. <laughs> Welcome back into Elevated Conversations. Today, we're going to spotlight some of the CBGs, CBNs, and kind of what they do. So which minor cannabinoids are you guys working with the most? Yeah, so, we, you know, obviously we go by need states. And, you know, in, in America, I mean, the one of the biggest things is everybody in, under the sun has anxiety of some sort. Um, and when you have that, obviously your sleep sucks, right? Yeah. Uh, we have sleep issues. Um, we're Americans. We have a, an obesity problem here um and, and pain as well so i mean those are some of the biggest ones that we get so you know we we've done a couple of clinical trials one for sleep and one for weight loss um with different um minors that are specialized right in that and we have some uh, published white papers that have been peer reviewed so it's legitimate content that you can read through and that's really again that's a sunmed difference that's what we do compared to everybody else that's out there because it takes time it takes a lot of money um, and then it also takes having the right connections with extract facilities um, and these extracts are significantly more expensive than just your basic broad spectrum extract. So, you know, um, where we formulate for wellness, uh, most formulate for getting you high or, you know, just they're just selling it and white labeling it just to, in, there, in there for the money. Like I said, we were found on wellness. We were uh, that's how the whole reason we got in here. And we talked about this in our last uh, series we did. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, uh, so. CBN, which is uh, great for helping with sleep and faster onset. THCV, which uh, we did a blind uh, patient study with that for weight loss. The uh, and, and I don't want to misquote it, but the average um, client lost uh, without changing their diet over 60 days. Lost, I want to say it was uh, nine pounds um, wow. just by taking this product. Yeah, um, and the same thing with pain. You know, we we add all sorts of different. Um, uh, other ingredients. We have a couple that are uh, OTC, like your roll-on that you use. Uh, it has an NDC number on it, so it's an over-the-counter because it has 4% uh, of lidocaine in it, which is you know great with alleviating pain. So uh, those are probably you know the most popular ones that we use, and, and they're also some of our top-selling SKUs. So THCV is one of the newest ones I've been hearing about lately, obviously because Ozempic becoming a big deal and people looking for healthier alternatives when it comes to weight loss. And uh, if you do this, you can't use Ozempic, you can't use the other shit. Is that true? Um, or can you add it to it? I think it could be used in conjunction. You know, I mean, you want to spot, you want to speak to a, uh, consult your physician first, but I don't think it would have any type of clash uh, with that. Um, okay. When, when does it actually make sense to take the THCV? I mean, if you're overweight, so I mean, all the clients that we did, they were considered morbidly obese, you know, so whatever that category is on your height and the weight threshold, they were morbidly obese. Um, but, you know, same thing if you're a few pounds overweight, it works as well. We, we added uh, apple cider vinegar into our, we call it trim is the name of the product. Um, so we, we make it in a tincture form. We also make it in a gummy form. In capsule as well. And in capsules, excuse me. Yeah. So um, when you pair those two ingredients together, they help accelerate the process for weight loss. Um, and again, you know, a, a regimented diet, you can't take our products and then pound three cheeseburgers. And in two weeks, be like, how come I'm not losing weight? Right. You said I don't have to change my diet. Well, within reason, you have to be smart about it. So, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're taking this stuff thinking that, you know, I could have an extra cheeseburger and I'm going to still lose the weight. And that's just not the case. <laughs> yeah. The, the THCV, it actually um, blocks the it, it blocks the, the hunger, uh, like the, the munchies that, you, that mm. some people, uh, you know, um, yeah. receive when, when consuming THC. Luckily, you know, my whole life, I have not been one of those guys that get the munchies. I've kind of been lucky on that aspect, but my wife, totally different. You know, she smokes, she's like, where are the chips at? So that is something late night snacking. All my buddies do that, especially, you know, you're gaming, you all of a sudden the bag of chips are right there, you're popping it in. This will, what you're saying, curb that appetite in a sense right. if you're taking it. That is extremely important. Uh, so one, mi one minor cannabinoid that most customers are sleeping on is what? Mm good question um i think it was our thcv <laughs> yeah <probably>. <laughs> thcv <laughs> yeah yeah the only the only problem with thcv is uh it's kind of being grouped because it has thc in the name it's being grouped in yeah. as an intoxicating cannabinoid so a lot of places that uh that go that because i handle all the the state legality of products per se and um thcv is getting pulled into this conversation and it's unfortunate because it really is a helpful non-intoxicating cannabinoid 
has nothing to do with getting you high at all. No. no. That's a shame. But at the same time, I totally understand that that right. sucks that it's being looked at it because yeah, it has that name in front of it. In its early uses, it was kind of being thrown in with what we call these uh, THC cocktails that some of these bad actors put out there and uh-huh. vape products. And what it was, it, they added it to kind of curb that hunger uh, that's created from having high amounts of THC. But we don't, you know, we don't have any kind of cocktail product just like that. We just have the isolated THCV. Uh, well, not isolated, but built out uh, extract with th- high THCV amounts around some products. Uh, so CBN is for sleep, correct? Right. Uh, CBG is for what? Energy. Energy. What yep. other ones out there should people know about? Yes. Well, those, those are the main ones. I mean, we had a product uh, with high CBGA and CBDA, which was a fantastic product that I loved called Immune. It was kind mm-hmm. of a health uh, immune support. But it just didn't really didn't really hit uh, the way that we wanted it to uh, on the market wise. It's kind of hard to. It's all about this whole industry and our business. It's all about education. It was kind of yeah. hard to educate, give the education piece uh, about that product. Yeah, and, and timing as well. I mean, when we launched this immune product, there was an article that came out that it was you know this we launched this product in the height of COVID, um, and that was the you know they had done some studies with it and said that it you know it helps it can help with COVID and some of the things that go with it. Um, so we developed our own, but. Um, by the time we got it to market, uh, which takes a while because we had to formulate from scratch, it was six, seven, eight months later. Right. Um, and by then, the buzz had kind of worn off, and, and that's really the, the unfortunate because it was a great product, um, but you know it just didn't uh, didn't get released in the right amount of time, unfortunately. Uh, and again, like you said, the education is the biggest piece. Yeah, and know? I still have some bottles. When I feel like I'm starting to get sick, I'll start to take that, and it goes away. Yeah. Is and it still available? Bus- no, we discontinued it, unfortunately. <sighs> <laughs> you made me a sad boy because I have an OCD and I fly a lot. This would have been something that oh, I would love be, to have yeah. taken before a plane. I, I well, do a lot of airborne and shit like that. Maybe with further education, we can introduce the product if it, if it becomes hot again. Let's go, people. Everybody watching. Educate. You heard it. You got to educate. <laughs> <laughs>